this thing. I think we're doing a world first. I don't think this has ever been done before with the power of an iPhone. We're good? Okay, roll it. And action. Freeride Entertainment is a production company based on action sports. <laughs> when I first started filmmaking, I didn't even have a cell phone, I had a pager. <laughs> they didn't quite have those yet. The Hit Case campaign started out with an idea. They challenged Freeride Entertainment to make an entire spot using their product and the iPhone 6 as the camera. Hitcase is like an Iron Man suit for your iPhone. It's waterproof, it's shockproof, it's everything that you need to get your iPhone ready for adventure. The reason that we decided to do this film was because we just wanted to show what people could do with the power that they have in their pocket. And so working with Freeride was just an opportunity to really push the boundaries. I've worked with Freeride Entertainment a lot in the past and those guys are just amazing at what they do. It's an amazing experience to have some of the best DPs in the world take your product and really push it to its limits. It's not very often you show up on a film set and they got all the equipment and dollies and stabilizers and stuff that I don't even know what it's called, but they've got to attach their iPhones <laughs> with hit cases on them. At first I was a little bit skeptical, especially with the quality, but once you start reviewing your shots, you're like, holy smokes, the quality is actually here. I never thought that I'd use a Ronin on an iPhone. Definitely makes it a lot easier with this case. The fact that you're reviewing a shot on your phone that you just shot and you have eight guys, you know, yeah. seeing the moment and getting super stoked and it, it's your phone. Yeah. <laughs> With the Hitcase campaign, we had a shoot from below sea level in Florida to the high peaks of Whistler Blackcomb. It's crazy seeing helicopters following us with iPhones. We got some shots that surprised us that we didn't think would work. We wanted to try it and we look at it, it's just beautiful. One of our cameramen caught an amazing shot with the hit case shooter pole and it was able to just move and wrap around the bike the way you'd never be able to capture with a bigger production camera. Some of the most exciting parts of filming was Sean Pettit picked this absolutely insane line. A little nervous, freaking out a little bit. I know for a fact nobody's ever skied it before and nobody should ever ski it again. And I mean, by his own words, it scared the living crap out of him. I'd probably say that that was the gnarliest thing I had ever seen in my entire life. If he caught a tip and crashed, he would have ping-ponged down sheer walls going about 80 miles an hour. There is no way we would have been able to get the shots that we've got in the amount of time with traditional filmmaking equipment. You can put it in situations that you would never trust a $60,000 camera to. Filmmaking has changed pretty dramatically. The only thing between your average person and an Oscar is their creativity now. And that's pretty amazing. Trying to just set up a shot where he's going to ride over here. He's kind of faking a little bit. Oh, I wasn't rolling. Oh. Just kidding. Oh. I got it. <laughs> 10 years ago, if you would have told me that I was going to be able to shoot the quality of video that you're being able to shoot now on the iPhone 6 with the hit case, underwater, anywhere that you really want to go, I would have told them they were crazy. That makes me sound stupid. <laughs> Don't use that. I didn't see it coming. I thought it was going to be massive beta cams for the rest of my life. Ha, ha, ha.